and then I'll break it down. sounds uh start off with a one four chord progression or an a minor so i'll play it same sound with the, uh, the guitar from Context, it's called Ilya Efimov Acoustic Guitar and it sounds like this. So yeah, it's kind of just like a background sound. After that, I got this flute from the Khan Zaytoven kit. Contact sounds like this. It's really in the background, you can barely even hear it. It's basically the same stuff. Um, after that, I grabbed a piano, I believe, from Contact. Oh no, this is a guitar actually. It's the same bank, but it's like the electric version. Sounds cool, sounds like a jazz guitar. I just played in these legs. I just repeated it again, kind of. Change the key. And a good thing for his stuff is just to like stack it like this. I don't. It's good for like a lot of different types of beats, but I've used it the most in these. And then put down this pan piano from Alicia Keys this is like my favorite piano bank just favorite piano sound in general sounds like this I did a lot of stacking on this one just put the land verb cut out the lows very simple mixing do that I put down the bass. I just layered it to make it sound a certain way. To that I used this sound from um stock FL flex called Brit Blub X. I use the sound a lot because it can bend so you can make it sound cool. I just kind of just use it as an accent. And after that I grab this bell from the same Zaytoven kit I'm talking about. Uh, Zay bells. It's pretty quiet and so did a delay and a low cut. Simple. After that, I don't really know what this is. Might be a piano. Oh no, I put this flute in from Purity, but I did an effect. I just turned these on, I don't even know what it did. I was just trying to make it like stackable kind of, but it just gave it a, a cool sound. Sounds like this. This is, 
Oh, I added this electric guitar from Xenology called the Dist Guitar 2. Just put in like an end melody kind of lead back into the beginning. But it's really quiet. These are the effects I had on it. After that, I added this wah. Wow. It's a pretty common BR sound. And then I added this Vox from the Medusa and Exclusive kit. Um, this is a good kit for BR sounds. Let's yeah. put Valhalla Vintage Herb on it. And then I added this wall from the same kit. And it only hits once. Uh, I didn't have any effects on it. I added another wall. It's kind of like a voice though at the same time. I just had it in the background. I don't think I put any effects on it. No effects. Yeah, after that, added this sound. It's kind of like a perk. Uh, yeah. So added it for a little bit of texture. Uh, after I added that, I added this from the exclusive and Medusa kit. This clap. No mixing. Yep. Just hits at normal spots. Well, let me play the whole melody together first. So I can hear how that sounds. BR sounds is you want them to be in key, even the stuff that you wouldn't expect, it just sounds better. So I put this at G sharp, which is the root key, and then I put it on A, which is the root note of the scale. And I just put a little bit of delay on this. And then after that, I added an open hat. And this just fills in where the hi hats don't hit. Yeah, get into the hi hats.
out the drums. It's ATL E Rock where I'll be nice. Yeah, if y'all enjoyed watching that, um, like or subscribe. If you want more videos like this, just comment, let me know. We'll probably do a few more BR tutorials because that's the sound I'm enjoying making right now. Uh, one of them. Yeah. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all later.